YouTube, I'm PC Transformer. I'm here to show you guys a pretty cool, I guess you could call it an operating system, but I prefer to call it a game. And I know this isn't solely focused on the game Pong, you know it's on my screen, and usually the stuff that starts on the screen is usually the focus of the video, but that's not the case in this video. This is actually to show off something cool you can do in Visual Basic. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't program this, but it's still pretty cool. The person who programmed it, you should go check it, check him out. There's a few different channels, both of which do different stuff. His main channel for his game is youtube.com slash hypnoist. Actually, y'all have the links to all the channels that, well, if you're interested in me and it, shift OS and stuff like that, you'll be interested. So, OS First Timer, Bob Adam, stuff like that. Yes, you guessed it. The makers of OS First Timer made this. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. Because. Let me explain the story behind the game. Just, I gotta do something with the game, so... No, no, we don't need fish. We'll do that in another video. Basically, I hit T here. You start off in this screen. Well, actually, you start off on a screen that, a screen that says the computer has been hijacked. And then you start off in, in like, a sort of formatting hard drive screen where it scans your hard drive, formats it, puts a shift FS on it, then installs a shift OS on it, and then you start off, and basically, here's the item, DevX is the creator of this, but it's his name for shift OS. But DevX talks to you in this. He tells you a bit about the operating system, why you were chosen. It says that he shows to he shows you involuntarily to be an alternate test bed for the operating system, and that it's pretty basic and non-existent, and that he wants you to use it and. He will code it as you test it. Basically, DevX is actually OS First Time or Shift OS or whoever you want to call them. I won't reveal real names because I don't do that on YouTube. <sighs> I find it creepy, and if people were doing that to me, I wouldn't be alright with it. So. Why would I do it to them? So basically, once he tells you all about that, he tells you how to use the operating system and how to go in between the terminal and the desktop. And he used Control T to do that. Makes sense. Control terminal. <laughs> and basically, how he codes it in the game is as you use the operating system and use different features, whether it be customizing it, or playing games, or I don't know, doing basic stuff like painting or typing, stuff like that, and, and doing that boards you with, well, code points and these code points can be spent for upgrades at the Shiftorium. The Shiftorium is basically a store. This game is really cool because it's basically an operating system that's upgradable, customizable, and best of all free. And I don't actually have to reinstall anything so even though it formats my hard drive in the game, it actually doesn't in real life, so. 
so all my music, recording software, all my other games, stuff like that's still there. And that's the cool part of it. And these code points. I'm really far in the game. Because these code points are actually pretty cool. If I go to control T, usually you wouldn't have the black bar at the bottom of the screen. You wouldn't have this gray and I've customized it a bit. And you especially wouldn't have palm. <laughs> Once again, this isn't a poem video, I promise. Your screen would just be black. Boring, I know. But you can use these code points to purchase an application. A desktop panel, which then there's a desktop panel. You can purchase an application launcher. You can purchase desktop panel buttons, which allow you to see which programs are open. And then you can purchase the desktop background feature along with the shifter and the and there's actually different prerequisites and upgrades upgrades that you need. For example, to get all this customization you need to buy the grey add-on which allows space to be displayed in grey. And because by default, as you can see on this window, it's just black and white. And then you can purchase grey add-on, stuff like that. You can purchase, basically, you play games, and do all this cool stuff to upgrade an operating system. And there's a story to it, which I'm not that far in the game, so I wouldn't know. I'm just doing a quick review on it. I'm gonna go control T back to the terminal before I start laughing at Pong. I had that feeling in my gut. But, yeah, it was pretty cool, actually. Like, this was done in a visual basic. It's hard to know that an almost linux -y operating system was built in such a small language, and uh, and DevX. You're the coolest programmer I know. Because if you can do that in Visual Basic, I'm surprised. Now, I'm not making fun of the language. Orcred's built in Visual Basic. Necrobrowse is built in Visual Basic. And then pretty soon my website will be, parts of it, will be built in Visual Basic. So I'm not making fun of the language. I'm saying congratulations for this awesome game. Now, if you want to download this game, all you do is head over to www.shiftos.net and then that'll take you to a forum where you hit, well if you want to test out the beta ones and not actually follow the game, you go for the beta releases and then you pick a version, download it, or, or, you, or if you're being like me and want to progress through the game, you go for the stable releases and do the same thing. And that's how you download it. And then you'll get shown with this terminal light. And I will do tutorials on it, I promise. Because I know there's going to be people out there who won't be sure of what to do. And it's just a quick hint. If you need help, of course I'm dumb. There's a help command for you. And as you progress for the game, this this command will grow and if you need to know what programs there are you can do is type in programs and there is only going to be free but for now it's I don't know how much <laughs> I'm not counting it's usually free and no one should put stuff on that I'll do a video on how to earn code points and then I'll do a video on the shifter app how you customize and do lots of videos on this OS slash game, whatever you want to call it. You know what? I'm going to call it operating system. And if you want to quit the game, all you can do is type in shut down. And then the game will save and quit. And that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to get stuff back. And then what's cool is I'll get into that, but there's a 
desktop add-in, which allows you to use Windows in ShiftOS. Anyways, I've been the PC Transformer. I gotta go edit and upload this and play some more ShiftOS. So I'll see you guys later.